first of all, you have to recognize that this is not a short-term solution. This is whatever's going to be done with this spent fuel is probably what's going to be was going to happen for this fuel for decades, if not centuries. So you have to think about this as a long-term solution, which means you have to think about the ability to monitor. You have to think about the ability to um, to respond to adverse conditions, and so you want to be able to do those things. And I don't think the current approach with the cast burial is the right approach for that. So what you, you need to do is you need to, first of all, probably stop any current cast loading, see if you can identify an area that would be more preferable where you would not necessarily have to bury the canisters, where you could put them in a protected environment above ground, and you would also be in an area that's a little bit um, farther from uh, the, the, the coast and a little higher elevation, so you eliminate the potential for um, water intrusion and changes in environmental conditions that could impact the safety of the fuel. I think an approach where the fuel is more accessible is a much better approach and, and, and where the fuel is not as close to the coast, not potentially subject to uh, groundwater intrusions underneath, which could cause corrosion problems, which then cause leakage. Uh, that, that seems to be a preferable alternative. And, um, but you know, there's a tendency to want to make the problem go away emotionally and mentally. And when you bury things, it's easier mentally to not worry about them. And, and there's a much more physical reminder and a visual reminder of this issue and the need to maintain it if these canisters are more visible and they're, they're not buried. And, um, and uh, so, you know, I think in this particular case, given the reality that this is going to be here for a long time, something, some kind of condition where it's easier to monitor, where it's easier to do um, remediation, to do any kind of uh, activity you would need to do for unexpected developments. And again, because we don't have experience with hundreds of years of storage of dry cast fuel or of, of spent fuel and dry cast, we can make predictions about what we think will happen and what the stability of the fuel will be, but those will likely be wrong in some way, some ways we don't know yet, and we probably won't know for 50 or 60 or you know 150 years. But so you want that fuel to be in a configuration that when those surprises do materialize, you have the easiest opportunity to rectify it.